Hey internet, good morning. Oh, it's horrible here now. It, just tail end of that storm babette and uh, it's been hammering it down with rain for the last couple of days. Gardens all underwater. <laughs> Not as bad as those poor folk up in Scotland, but uh, yeah, it's quite wet. Anyway, um, sorry for the delay. Uh, the reason for the delay is uh, I've been having real difficulty getting the decals uh, for the uh, 550 and uh, reached out to all of the people on eBay that I've used in the past and nobody responded at all. Not one returned email, which I find bizarre considering people want to sell stuff on eBay. But anyway, so uh, through Google I eventually found a company called The Image Works in Derby. Uh, I'll post a link to their website uh, down, down here somewhere. and. Um, they do all uh, reproduction graphics. Um, if they haven't got it listed on, your we on their website, just email them. And uh, you know they came back to me really quickly with, yeah, we can do that. That's no problem at all. Anyway, so I ordered them last weekend or Monday maybe, and uh, they arrived. So yeah, I've got them. I mean, they're a really simple graphic, as everybody knows, on the D1. It's just the two pieces on the tail and the two big uh, stripes, one down each side on the tank. The only issue with these is I imagine if you bought the genuine ones, which I can't think you'd get anymore, they would have the, uh, the hole cut out already that goes round the mounting for where the badge sits. Uh, these haven't, and the ones I had before in fairness haven't, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them on and um, mark it and then cut it out i'm not too sure at what stage i'll do that but anyway but now i've got the graphics i can carry on with the bodywork i haven't really done anything since the last video well tell a lie i did one thing which was i flatted back the um paintwork on the side panels though as i expected that, sorry that's not stuck on so it's just placed in the holes uh, as i ex as i expected they were you know there was a little bit of orange peel on there nothing too much i've probably put the clear coat on a bit thick which i don't mind because then it gives me the opportunity to be able to work wet flat i suppose um anyway so i you know the, it's lovely now it's super smooth and i think that looks brilliant you know with the badge on there i think they look really good so what have we got left we've got the mud guard the tail piece and the bikini fairing uh, to get done. I haven't started prepping them yet so I'll probably do a bit of prep on them, on them now um, so as uh, I can get as much painted in one hit as possible. Bought myself a new face mask because I think the uh, filters were going on the other one. So these have got little click to test filters so I've got a new face mask and the other thing I got which I've not moaned about but I said might be really handy is this little turntable so it'll allow me to paint in a smaller area because I won't have to move around the uh, item I'm painting. You know, I can prop it up and then, uh, you know, move the little table and spray in one area. So hopefully I can keep the nice and contained in the garage. Garage is getting quite full now because of the end of the summer season and bringing in all the garden furniture and that sort of stuff. So I've got a little room. It's quite wet today again uh, because of the recent storms but the new garage doors are helping it seems really dry and uh, not um, damp in the slightest in the, in the garage. I mean what never was really damp but it's more airtight now with these new doors up so uh, I don't think we'll have an issue with painting. I've got the little heater going to get the temperature up in here a bit uh, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll crack on. So, yeah, let's get the some more prep done and uh, see where we see how far we get today. Okay, thanks very much.
we've got a couple of little issues. It's never going to always be plain sailing, is it? The towel piece is perfect. That's now ready for uh, flatting. Yes, yeah, so, right, the towel piece is perfect. That is ready for flatting. The front mud guard, we've got a couple of issues on that. And we've definitely got a couple of issues on the um, nose cone fairing. Let's just have a look at them. Right, so I'm not sure how well you can see that, but we've got here, I don't know whether that's some sort of reaction with the paint underneath, here, that looks a bit scabby there, a little tiny hairline crack maybe, a little blob there, how well you can see that, it's almost like a little hole there, and that's nasty, that is, I don't know what that is. It's old paint or something, I'm sure. But the worst thing is we've got a crack. And I didn't really, well, I didn't notice it. But yeah, it's a little crack nonetheless. Um, so what I've got is some of this. Now, I haven't used this putty before, but uh, I thought, well, I'll give it a go. And certainly for that crack there, see if we can get that and see if that can, you know, uh, use it in there. Not too sure what I'm going to do with that. It's dry now. It's been drying under the heater for the last half an hour or so. So uh, yeah, I can I can do something with it now. But uh, yes, yeah, so let's have a look. Okay, so I did some dry flatting work, uh, sorry, wet flatting work to get rid of the reaction there. Now, obviously, I don't know whether it's going to go again when I put some more on. Uh, and also, this end was worse. Uh, we've got some uh, imperfections in the paint here, which I've managed to get out with the wet flatting. And here as well. This was really quite nasty down at the bottom. It's perfectly smooth now though. Sorry, I just will raise that up so you can see a bit better. Um, I mean, it still looks like you can see the pattern in it now, but what I'm gonna do, I mean, I've wet flatted it all and it's lovely and smooth. Uh, I'm gonna um, bob another coat of uh, white primer on. It's nice and dry now, so uh, it'll be ready for that. And, uh, and let's see if, uh, well I've just noticed another imperfection as well actually, so uh, yeah I'll have to address that first, okay. Right then, mud guard take three. So uh, I've found all the little imperfections and uh, flatted them out, hopefully it won't react again but We'll uh, get some more paint on and give it a go.
Hey, right, good morning, Internet. This is day two of the uh, bodywork uh, weekend. Um, so, where did we get up to yesterday? We finished the base coats on the tank and the real rear tailpiece. So, let's just have a look at the tank. As you can see, looks delicious. There's one floor, which I'm not 100% with, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. It seems that the the green pigment or uh, is, is just sat a bit heavy on that corner. But other than that, it's perfect. So, yeah, that's ready for stripes, which we're going to be doing shortly. And then we'll be doing the top coat. Tail piece, lovely. There is one slight imperfection, which is just there. I don't know if you can see that. I have no idea what that is, um, but maybe the stripe is going to uh, cover it. I hope so, because I can't do it again, because uh, it's so many coats of paint to get it to this uh, colour and this depth. I've compared it with the side panels that I've already done and we've got the same luscious deep deep green so uh, yeah everything's good so what didn't we get finished yesterday we didn't get finished the nose cone because the putty that I was using that uh, finishing putty seems to take ages to dry it's dry now but of course you know it wasn't uh, ready for me sanding it yesterday so I couldn't get this into a state where uh, I was ready to do any colours. I think, so, so yeah, we've got to sand this down, reapply some uh, primer, and then get the uh, silver and then the green down. So yeah, it's quite a bit to do on that. Uh, the mud guard, which weighs a ton, because they're steel, aren't they? Can't believe how heavy these are. Uh, again, uh, I have ended up using some of the... Um, putty on it uh, because I, I I just know that the imperfections are going to show up through the paint and I really don't want that so I've used quite a bit of the putty on there so that needs all sanding down I might have to put a bit more on uh, yet depending on how smooth and how good it comes up when I sand it but I think this and the nose cone fairing are going to be a job for another day I think what I'm going to focus on getting done today is the stripes because as I said before I've got to cut them um, to go around the uh, fixing for where the tank badge goes That's a rubbish design that is isn't it um, and um, and then we've got to get it to dry and then we've got to get some uh, lacquer on it and obviously I've got the stripes to do on the tailpiece as well it's really quite a cold day I'm bringing the temperature up in the garage with the heaters and uh, so it'll be warm enough to paint but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time today to get to the mud guard and the uh, fairing so we're just going to concentrate on getting the tank and the tailpiece done and then the other two we'll have to do next week uh, I'm going to end up wasting some um, of the 2k lacquer because one can is more than enough probably for everything that I need to do but it's not going to last after being open today so we're just going to have to sacrifice that really um, with, with the rest of the paint we've got enough to do um, this and the fairing so that's all good uh, we're getting closer, I've used quite a lot of green Silver, not so much, but yeah, we use quite a lot of green. You have to put a lot of coats on to get it to really get that depth of colour. So, um, but we've got one full can left, so that's more than enough to do this in the bikini fairing. So, right, okay, uh, let's crack on and let's see if we can get those decals uh, positioned so we can work out where we're going to do the cut. Uh, obviously, I've got the lovely finished D1, so we've got a perfect uh, template if you will for making sure that the decals are in the right place um, yeah let's get on okay right so I thought we would start with the uh, 
easy one. Uh, having measured it on the uh, D1, um, God, they're long there, aren't they? I think what we'll do is just get it wet, nice and wet, and uh, bob it on and move it around a bit. I think it should be 15 centimeters below the uh, sorry 1.5 centimeters below the uh, angle of that so on the straightest piece it should be 1.5 centimeters below so it should be easy enough to position once we've got it nice and wet
so that's it for this weekend's work. I'm very pleased. I had a couple of tricky moments with the big decals for the tank. Um, and there are two little tiny errors uh, where the decal has creased a little bit. I'm hoping you won't really be able to see it when the badges are on because it's just around that location. It may. It was really tricky cutting the decal around the recess and the, the badge mounting plate. Um, but you know, I think it looks really good. Let's have a quick look. I know the line around here isn't probably as neat as it could be if I was a professional but you've got to remember the badge is going on there anyway so you won't see any of that in a line but there's the little tiny crease uh, I mean I'm aware of it I'm hoping when the badge is on your eye won't be drawn to it really but isn't that lovely it's, it's like glass the finishes it's just lovely and the depth of the candy you know when you catch it in the different angles it's just lovely let's have a look at the tailpiece extremely pleased with this how lovely is that again the finish is just like glass really it's just lovely beckles went on perfect lovely glass finish to the lacquer uh, again i probably will uh, wet flat just to get any imperfections out I can just see one on the top there a little tiny bibber um, but you know how how lovely is that the candy just pops with that lacquer on it it just looks delicious and so yeah really pleased with both I, mean, I haven't lost any of the depth of the candy I always worry that maybe if you put too much of the colour coat on um, it won't still be translucent uh, but yeah it definitely is and you've got to put quite a lot of the green on to really get the depth of colour when you first put it on as you saw it's it, you know it looks awful until you've got four or five good coats on there very very pleased so yeah we've got the bikini fairing and the mudguard to do but they've got more prep on there uh, I've got to sand that uh, f very fine putty down, uh, it's not a job for today, um, I'm really pleased with everything that's uh, gone on so far though, so the, we're uh, almost there with the bodywork. What's next after that? Well, I'm still waiting for the, uh, or I'm waiting for the swing arm to come back, um, there's no hurry on that, the, 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 the chap's doing it me as a favour, somebody uh, is client of my IT business and uh, I'm very appreciative of him sorting that out for me so uh, when that comes back that will just be painted black anyway so there's really no hurry for that but we do have to paint the engine so we've got to get that uh, cleaned up and uh, prepped ready for painting too uh, frame obviously we're not painting because it's in really nice condition um, and then uh, yeah we'll get, we can I guess start the build back up so Looking forward to that. I can't wait to see the bike with the bodywork on it. I think it's going to look fantastic. Um, yeah, great. So, thanks very much for sticking with me. I know it's been a long video, uh, but I thought you'd want to see how the bodywork's coming on. And, you know, massive shout out to, um, well, two really, Image Works in Derby for sorting the decals out for me. Really appreciate that. And, of course, um, Specialist Paints with the uh, custom cans, um, special candy paint and the super two pack lacquer, it's just brilliant, brilliant paint and you know it goes again, it just shows you that it's down to the prep, a lot of it, you know, prep and prep and then some more and uh, you know, you'll, you'll get a, hopefully a good result so uh, you know, no skimping on the prep. So yeah, that's it. Thanks very much for sticking with me. It'll probably be next weekend now, but uh, yeah, next next video we'll get the uh, fairing and the mudguard done, and then that's all the bodywork finished. So thanks very much. Uh, let me know if you think it's looking good, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.